Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for your daily reading. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're not and you're new, my name is Shannon, and I'm glad to have you. My channel looks at a lot of uh, criminal activity. Most of the time, I'm focusing on negative energy to detect it, to uproot it. Can't stand it. We're supposed to uh, hate wickedness, and so just part of my my job in the earth is to just detect that and you know look and see what the energy is around us for the day so that when it does show up in any kind of stupid way you'll be able to detect it and get rid of that so my channel might be a lot and probably is a lot different than what you're used to running across but if you stick around you'll just learn me as we go i feel energy and so sometimes it can come out real intense uh, sometimes I could, you know, come out kind of goofy within the energy flow and stuff like that. So you'll understand that I'm trying to read the cards, deal with the energy, and speak to you at the same time. But anyway, um, the scripture is found in the tarot, although my channel is not a religious channel, but I do walk by the scripture, and uh, I keep the Ten Commandments in my heart. They're written there. I love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. People call him the universe. I call him by a scriptural name because he tells us what his name is, and he says, this is my name forever. And so you will hear me say Jehovah, and I kiss his son that walked among us in the flesh, son of David, and that is who I confess, which is the Mashiach, and so... Anyway, this is who I am. Take it, leave it, do whatever you got to do with it, baby. But if you stay, I'm really glad to have you grow with us on this channel. Understand that I also have times where the spirit is so heavy on me, I may roar at energy as well. And so, you know, you, you just, you'll just have to learn me as we go. All right, but like I said, welcome. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's an anniversary, happy anniversary to you. And if you're down and out, I send you love and light. I just ask right now that the Holy Spirit would just come and hold you tight and uh, just help you in your situation. Because some people are really dealing with overbearing uh, things and uh, people that are crazy and profane and things like that in the earth that we live in. This is the last 24 hours. This is the now. And this is the next 24 hours that we're going to look at. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Milady card, which goes back to talking about um, somebody who had, could have a mental illness, a physical illness, a spiritual illness could be here. This is also a card of just somebody who also is uh, needing recovery or is recovering from something. So overall energy, we're dealing with this Milady energy. We also have the bear at the bottom of the deck for overall energy for this reading, which can go back to our parents or it can go back to business matters. And we do know that to be the case with both of these that are coming out if you miss the cardinal fix and mutable sign readings they are down below we did have energies come out with somebody who does have in wording it came out some some type of a mental person is here that we are dealing with this week and uh, so, you know, and we do have business this week and somebody was going to be let go and somebody was also being abused and this bear can go back to that kind of energy as well. It's overbearing things and jealousy situations and uh, stuff like that with the bear. Okay, so it is showing up and then the oppression is here. Okay, uh, at the bottom of the deck. A 10 is an ending, though. We do know that this week we also have a um, victory and a defeat. It showed itself on all of the readings, and so somebody can be able to lay the burden down because somebody has been mental and abusive and jealous over some stupidness, and that's what's showing. Then we have the 10 of Wands, which is very oppressive energy. Okay, you hope come on in here and just uh, say whatever needs to be said. You have a rebuke and bind and block every wicked, foul, dark energy and shove it down to the pit of hell. Yeah, so we are dealing with, again, the mental abuse both these cards can go back to that kind of stuff this is distortion okay somebody's also doing legal matters and they are this is an incarceration card but somebody's really mental here okay they've got some mental sickness they've done some stuff and oppressive stupidness and been overbearing done some things even at work uh, for some people and just caused a lot of the, you know problems and confusion and setbacks and stuff like that the last 24 hours with this um, cloud card and uh, they're just really blurred all the time something has been hidden here then that's what that is we also have the money card and there's a lot of money and I had in wording on my other reading just a minute ago that um, there was material happiness okay this goes back to you know you know somebody's facing jail for thieving some stuff as well and being overbearing whatever they were doing um, at work or they've just lost a lot of money for some type of um, error because in wording we had a burden and a double error was there uh, today on the general my other channel I'll make sure that I put that in the um, 
community section for you all. Um, but there's a lot of money attached to some stuff. Okay, whatever it was, if it was gifts or money at work, like I said, or just you know, some you're dealing with somebody who has a comfortable life, or they are wealthy or something like that. This is about increase though. That is here something about all this is uh, connected to the last 24 hours. We have the letter K, person, place, or thing, first, middle, or last name. For some people, that won't mean nothing, and uh, for some people, it will. The K is the number 11 in our alphabet. The number 11 or the number 2 or the number 20 could be prevalent as well. We also have secrets around somebody as well because we have eight swords. Normally, I don't do that, but it's hitting me that way. In the now, we have some leader or the boss or a husband or protection or a war or stubbornness. Uh, something about the door would be here with the letter D. Um, in the Hebraic language. So if you are new, I use the Hebraic language. This would be the Dalit, which means the door, the letter D, going in and out, weak and poor is what it represents. But it is empires. Even at that level, we're seeing something really big here. Uh, somebody who is in control of something or just at the headship of some situation here. The We know the emperor has all four kings. So somebody of power or somebody's trying to take power or, or protect something is here. So we have somebody's um, friend that could be here. If this is protection, then this is also protection. The dog can represent that. There's some type of good news that is here. Whatever happened here with the distortion and the cloudiness and all this money situation um, there's there's some type of good news when this comes out this is about being loyal some people I guess weren't if there's a war right now within something again we got a lot of money or gifts or being generous somewhere or something like that if you had a question this is a yes card um, again the dog can also go back to controlling issues as well but some some type of a friendship would be here with this dog and it's a good news and and uh, it's it's joyful because we do have some type of a um, victory for the next couple of days for some people they're getting their victory so somebody's gonna be generous and uh, give some type of nice news here in a in the a place of taking leadership within something then great somebody gonna get out of their head this is all this is for some people and just again generosity would be out here somebody would have it to give then it's here the next 24 hours, we do have some type of a celebration that is here. Like, that's positive. Something about the home is here. Something about children for some people. or some. Again, this can go back to somebody who's got a childlike brain. And since we've got somebody in their mind here and distorted here and somebody's dealing with somebody who's got that mental illness over there, it's caused oppression and stuff. And for some people, there's celebration because this person's going to get taken care of. And there's good news about this stuff. Okay? Because there's a victory somewhere. So the child card can be somebody that also that you went to school with uh, or this, it can represent if nothing else it can represent somebody stumbling up on some information here that's bringing some type of a celebration here and for some people there's sorrow because some people are winning or losing within something the sorrow card though it, it can also represent somebody of experience and the emperor would represent that in the now as well um, some people also, even though there is a victory, there's still sorrow around some of that victory, given what has happened in the process of something um, that's went down. I want to take a rune here where the letter J is also here. So the J, the D, and the K is here in this reading thus far. We'll see what comes out. Jehovah, you just cast the rune here for this reading. Well, it wants to come out. Give me just a second. This bag is something else. <laughs> Where's the opening? There it is. So we do have a for sure legal victory. I will say that the justice card was in my other reading today. This is suffered, but it is a for sure legal victory. Uh, this can also go to some type of a situation around a marriage or a foretold betrayal or plotting could have been here around something. But there's a change occurring here. The M and the D and the X can appear within this one room. So if that means anything, there's a victory here. And it's good news. And somebody's going to be generous and there's some gifts here, then that's possible. Positive. Somebody else crying. I guess they are, man. Um, but somebody's also going to be feeling like a kid again because there's something that's turning around. So let me just take some words for extra energy to be aware of today or connected to this situation. You hope you just pick through my hands, please. 
somebody had made a false report uh, on purpose they did it and now there's there's feeling ashamed here in the next 24 hours because we see that you're crying because there's going to be a victory on that who does that crap that's a violation of the great ones laws as well so somebody uh, is confessing it says about the false report they're feeling ashamed well I guess if you're coming clean about something then that's great okay because they've been in their mind because there's a bunch of money around some stupidness and somebody went crazy over the ordeal and it's caused jealousy and overbearing stuff it's affected work situations and somebody's confessing about it and they're feeling ashamed and it's right here um, I hope you didn't lose your soul if not then get made whole man and go through your process there's there's music that's involved in some things we do know it um, somebody's been weighed down and been you know really just feeling what that's this this is oppression okay look at this somebody has been feeling weighed down with oppression wounded and everything else because somebody made a freaking false report on purpose and thought I guess they were going to get some money out of the ordeal because they got some wickedness that was around this situation. It just caused craziness. It really caused a lot of problems somewhere, man. And poor decisions is also written on this card. And again, I had in wording in a different card that somebody made a double bear, a double error. And uh, and so whatever that's, it was a poor decision. It was. It's a poor decision to lie, people. It just is. Anyway, something about a rehab center. I guess some people went crazy and now they're overindulging in some stuff. They need to go to a rehab center. Something about the, um, short trips are here or taking a short trip somewhere. Somebody's near to you to go give some good news about something. Then so be it. We have the truth here and the truth is here. Okay, and uh, like I said, the justice card was um, in the other reading today. So we have the truth about something because somebody's confessing about a false report and they're feeling ashamed about the thing. Um, something unexpected and shocked or also somebody dealing with electricity or something happened with electricity then with you anytime in your life or some type of a connection to something there then something unexpected and shocked and electricity or electric stuff is out here as well. Somebody is having a baby as well, or there's something around a baby situation then. We have a child here, so congratulations. It's safe for you to love and stuff like that, then great. Um, someone talented is here. Yes, well, we got music and stuff involved. We, we know it. Shame, guilt, and prison. Well, again, somebody's feeling ashamed because they made a false report on purpose. There, for a lot of people, there's a lot of money around some stuff or inheritance or whatever that is. There's, a legal, there's something legal here. Okay, there's, something, there's incarceration. They know that they, there's incarceration here in the last 24 hours within some situation. So shame, guilt, and prison is here. Okay, a pot of gold is waiting for somebody that it actually belongs to. It's right here. And somebody's going to deliver that thing right here. Okay, and they're going to celebrate even though there's sorrow around some stuff that went down around it. Somebody's going to be feeling like a kid again. And even though there's wounding here, there's a victory. Until next time, folks, shalom.